नेक्स्ट इज योर प्रोनाउंसिएशन दैट इज अगेन यू कैन से स्पोकन इंग्लिश इट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू प्रोनाउंस ऑल द वर्ड्स इन प्रोपरली नॉट आई एटलीस्ट वाट एवर मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट वर्ड इज देयर यू शुड एबल टू प्रोनाउंस इन बेटर वे एंड नेक्स्ट इज योर ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स लाइक हाउ टू मेक द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ग्रुप लाइक वन इज देयर एंटोनी इफ वर्ड्स आर सोइंग द सेम टाइप ऑफ मीनिंग देन एंटोनी कॉमन रूट सीनो वी आई थिंक वी शुड कम इन वर्टिकल वे एंटोनिम सिनोनिम होमोनिम होमोनिम इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर योर कैट एंटोनिम सिनोनिम डायरेक्टली इट विल नॉट बी हेल्पफुल बट होमोनिम मेनी ऑफ द टाइम्स इट विल बी हेल्पफुल रिलेटेड टू सेम इंसिडेंट फिनोमेना एंड प्रोसेस रिलेटेड टू सेम सब्जेक्ट और सब सब्जेक्ट लाइक एनी पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट इकोनॉमिक्स ड्यू टू सेपरेट सेपरेट डिक्शनरी आर कमिंग डिक्शनरी ऑफ लॉ डिक्शनरी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स डिक्शनरी ऑफ फिलोसफी डिक्शनरी ऑफ मेडिकल साइंस दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन द सब्जेक्ट और सब सब्जेक्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट बेस्ड ऑन द यूसेज हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी लो फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट ऑल अनदर ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स विल मेक यू वॉन्ट टू अपियर फॉर जी आर ई दिस इज हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी वर्ड ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड वर्ड्स रट जाओ दीज ऑल ओनली विल कम इन एग्जाम हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी वर्ड लो फ्रीक्वेंसी वर्ड बेस्ड ऑन द आवर रिक्वायरमेंट बेस्ड ऑन द आवर यूसेज बेस्ड ऑन द आवर गोल इट विल बी चेंज बेस्ड ऑन द लिटरेरी एकेडमिक स्पोकन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू मेनी ऑफ द वर्ड्स आर देयर दैट इज वेरी मच स्ट्रिक्ट टू यूज फॉर ए पर्टिकुलर एकेडमिक कॉन्टेक्सट एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट वन ग्रुप बिल डेवलप अनदर ग्रुप इज कॉमन रूट लाइक एनी रूट इफ यू आर जस्ट पिकिंग और बेस्ड ऑन द रूट वन वर्ड इज डेवलप्ड देन रिलेटेड टू सेम रूट हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट वर्ड्स आर डेवलप्ड देन बेस्ड ऑन द कॉमन रूट दिस विल यूज फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग पर्पज वन ऑफ द टूल विल बी देयर that is based on the common root next will be based on the similar application maybe words are different words are totally different they are not connected with each other in any of the sense only sense of the connection is there application wise they are similar then based on the similar application we will able to make one group or related to similar idea or idea unit this will discuss in detail ki if it is related to similar idea or similar idea unit then how to make the group of words like just suppose one simple words i have taken rain then first thing if you are not uh, if you are not aware about the idea unit or what we are going to discuss during your vocab session and next coming session about the idea and idea unit and uh, framework then first we have to recognize in which idea unit rain is there okay afterwards just suppose rain you understood now one of the one of the things will be there if rain is coming you can say very high frequency way or intensity wise very high why we are focusing on rain because rain is capable to create so many devastating thing it can create flood it can create landslide it can create so many calamities do to just suppose related to rains how many different words can be or what are the effect or impact of rain uh, effect and impact of rain different different landslide flood after that downpour like kedarnath if you are remembered this is one of the impact of rain and all these words will be very frequently used in your news channel and your newspaper because all incident regularly will happen almost 12 month almost uh, you can say if, uh, during entire year any one part of india will uh, uh, struggling with the flood another part is struggling with the scarcity of water this water is one of the cardinal thing of indian people due to word related to rain always will come in picture we should must understand similar way we are surrounded with the politics we can't remove politics from our day to day life why because we are much interested i don't know why but again politics if you will read any of the newspaper then 70% news will be directly or indirectly derived from politics or political activity if big event also happen in scientific community one a small column will be there but when a small activity happen in one of the regional party also it will be headline of the newspaper due to we must be aware about the politics related word because you have to encounter day to day basis and based on that only perception will be created how much you are able to speak properly then uh, all these you can say related to similar idea or idea unit now out of these seven points whatever i uh, told to you this is tools this is related to tools to 
tools for good vocabulary you can say point number 1 2 3 4 means origin root prefix and suffix these all mathematically you can just make these all are the constant this is not going to change much again pronunciation that is also fixed only will change if you are changing the locations same words american will speak in different way australian will speak in different way british people will speak different way indian will speak in different way and all tones all four accent are acceptable do do if you will just turn your dictionary then it will be given british english this is called american english this it will pronounce like this do do pronunciation also you can say it is almost fixed your suffix prefix root origin fixed what is variable we have to focus on variable due to i am breaking down in you can say linear equation in the form of mathematics your variable is context of use give much focus on that to understand and develop the context of use only you have to you have to develop a develop a habit of reading a lot of reading it will be needed lot of reading like it is not going to come in one month two month reading the newspaper or reading one or two books you have to read a lot once you will read around 300 400 books quality books then you will able to understand different type of context of usage how to use the figures of speech how to use the figurative meaning in different different way then uh, these point you can say point number 5 we have to give much stress this groupism also you can say almost fix antonym having limitations synonym having limitation here only variable this one this we can make in different different innovative way related to idea or idea unit but context context of use we must be careful